Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy Shadow back in here on the YouTube video. And today, what we have for you is how to put a easy cut line around your artwork um, for a Versa cam for your role to be in 20. All right, so basically, what I'm going to do, I'm creating here a t shirt. Uh, this is what I got. This is what I always do. So I create my image in Photoshop. All right. I clean it up, make sure it's clean as possible. All right, make sure it's clean, make sure there's no extra excess lines. That's what I'm doing, make sure there's no extra lines going around it. Um, to create this image, you know, I use that new app everybody's using. I think it's called like New Profile Pick. So you can just search for that and, um, you know, the app store, you'll, be, you'll find it for sure. All right, so yeah, I'm just making my art as usual. Um, this is gonna be a raster image. I'm going, that final output, might be like a PNG file. All right, so um, yeah, I wanna cut back once I finish doing this. And All right, y'all, I'm back again. So now that the artwork is finally finished, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna convert all of this to a smart object. So just select all your layers, uh, right click on it, I already did it. It seems like it didn't convert to smart object. Um, that way it kind of saves this, um, you know what I'm saying? It ain't gonna get pixelated. So the next one, the next, um, slide i'm gonna show you next video i'm gonna show you you know what i'm saying is when it's going to be in illustrator all right i'm going to delete all this file i'm going to go to new uh new image okay we're going to go here we're going to close out everything else that i did before don't save okay so now we're going to get the artwork that i need to cut now i saved this image as a png file now you're gonna, you don't have to do it like that. This is how I do it. It makes my life easy. So if it makes my life easy, I'm gonna share it with you guys to hopefully make your life easy as well. So we're gonna we're gonna do that. Now this is a raster image, of course. So we have to vectorize it. Um, so I'm going to go here, drag this layer into a new layer. Boom. Um, now since this 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 image this raster image is like high quality, um, it should be straight. So now with this top layer, I'm going to, what am I going to do with this top layer? We already got the, the layer duplicated. I'm going to uh, click on it. We're going to go to image trace. Only thing we need is a cut line, y'all. We just need a cut line. So I'm going to image trace it, black and white image. As you saw here, I'm going to click on expand. All right, and now you got all this stuff, right? So now I'm going to go to isolation mode. I'm going to double click on this. That's going to bring up the isolation mode so that I can um, delete certain things and just isolate that layer. So I'm going to click on this little box. I don't know if you guys saw it, but I'm going to click on that box, delete. All right. So it's now I can select all these layers inside of here. Now I'm going to drag a box to select it. I'm going to go to my Pathfinder, click on Unite. Boop, right there. Okay. So now you see the little boxes in the middle. You don't want this stuff in the middle. So now still in the Pathfinder, I'm gonna click on Merge and Unite again. Okay, so all of that has disappeared. Now what I want to do is get rid of this little black outline. Um, I want to um, make this transparent. So we are going to put no fill, no stroke, okay? So now you see this, I'm gonna get out of the Pathfinder by double clicking, and then I'm going to click on my path. I am going to put this cut line in here. This is um, the machine I'm using is the Roland BN20. So this is what VersaWorks uh, recommends. This cut line here. All right, so now you're going to see a cut line. If I zoom in, you're going to see this little pink outline. All right, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add the bleed and all that. All right, so we're going to go to um, object path offset path right so now if you go you see i got negative in there if you do five let's do five for example preview we're gonna do an offset of five that's gonna be humongous right let's do two okay you see okay you starting to see it so that's too big like it's coming on the outlines you know what i'm saying we ain't gonna do that so let's do one you know what i'm saying do you catch my drift? Uh, we're gonna go to point one. You see that? That's if you want a white border around your joint. If you want your, a white border around your image, right? Um, let's do point um, four. 
0.5, you know what I'm saying? You can do 0 0.09 or just play around with it. You see what I'm saying? 0 0.8, it gets smaller, 7. All right, so now we're going to go into the negatives. We're going to go into the negatives now. So negative 0 0.09. You see how it goes inside? It's going inside now, but I don't want it that far inside because look at the letters. You see the letters, how the letters is cutting in? No, nah, we don't want that. All right, so we're going to go to 0 0.0. Let's see 0 0.3, how that's looking. All right, point zero three is going all the way along around everything, looking pretty good, pretty smooth, perfect. I like point zero three, so I'm going to roll point zero three. I'm going to click OK, ding ding ding, and I'm going to click on the outside, and I'm going to zoom in so you can see the original cut line. You see the original cut line right here. What I'm going to do is click on it, click, and delete. Bam. So now you see the cut line with the bleed. You see the cut line with the bleed going all the way around your image. And that's what it's going to cut. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's going to cut. Um, that's how you put a cut line around a raster image. Now, I, lastly, what I'm going to do, I'm going to save this, save as, right? Um, I want to name it uh, Evenings with Auntie. I'm going to just call it Auntie. Auntie. All right, so then we're going to label it Auntie. We got to save it as an EPS, Illustrator EPS, right? Auntie EPS, we're going to click Save, and it's going to save to the laptop, continue, whatever. Okay, click on it, and it's saved. Um, all right, so now we're going to go to our printer to see how the end results look. Click the thumbs up if you got some value from this video, of course. Like, comment, and subscribe for some more. Feel free to put some more topics in the comments so I can continue to upload upload more quality content for you guys, all right? All right, so now we are on the rolling Versa Works being 20. All right, so we got the, the artwork in there. And you see that cut line? Zoom in, boom, 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 boom. All right, so what I'm going to do, I need this jump to be, um, I double, basically, what I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back. Man, God damn, this thing want me to uh, update it. I ain't trying to do all that yet. All right. So I just double click on it. Doo -doo. I need this thing uh, width, maybe 12. But it ain't going to go from the width. It's just going to go from the height. Because I need at least 13 inches. So we're going to um, see how they go. Yeah, 13. Man, let's do, mm, let's do 12.5. All right, 12.5. I feel like that's a little big. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. That's gravy. I need two copies. Well, actually, three shirts, but um, we're going to do two copies. I just want to see how the, how the junk go. Hmm. Let's do two copies for now. For the sake of... No, one copy for the sake of this video. Yeah. All right. So then I'm going to click on OK. All right. We're going to print it out. Okay, my ink levels are still pretty good. Mm. I'm going Sorry. to go ahead and send this off to the printer. Everything is good. I got my media loaded up in there. Print count one. That's what we're going to do. Print it out, baby. When I come back, everything should be printed out. All right, y'all. Another quick tip. You see how everything is loaded up? Whatever you do, make sure your, your designated computer... Um, Make sure your designated computer is uh, not on like power saver mode. Like I had this joint on power saver mode and pretty much what happened was um, basically what happened was um, when it came time to cut, it was all misaligned. Like everything was out of whack. The cut, the cut was cutting on the artwork and I do not need that. So make sure you have it, you know what I'm saying? You stay by your laptop, make sure everything is going well. Uh, make sure your energy saver is not on. Make sure that it's on constantly. You know what I'm saying? Because if, if it cuts off, boom, that could be, you know, um, you can mess up your cut. All right. All right. So as you see, it started to print out. Um, not looking too bad. You see the edges a little. That's because it's not a a vectorized image, you know what I'm saying? It would have looked a little cleaner, but the giant is coming out looking good. Coming out looking pretty good. Um, 
yeah, everything's coming out looking pretty good. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you. So, um, you see these jagged edges here? The cut line is going to cut all that out. Um, yeah. All right, so now it is going into cut mode. So I print it out. Shoot, that ain't looking nice, looking nice, looking nice. And once again, I'm using that new app everybody's using, the uh, My Profile Picture app. Um, yeah, so it's gonna cut now. It's amazing how this thing cuts. Oh, look at me, y'all check me out, Woo. Yeah, so this joint, yeah, it's cutting out. And that's the bleed right there. First, I was wondering how in the world did it cut out, but uh, now I see that the blade is getting to work. All right, I'm gonna try to put this back on my trap. Matter of fact, I've been cutting, making cuts and edits this whole video. I'm just gonna keep cutting and keep editing. Uh, so the next time you see this, I'm gonna have this ready to be weeded out, okay? All right, all right, I'm back, y'all. I got, as you see, I got both hands, so. You know, I set this thing up on the tripod and I might need to, um, real talk, I might need to adjust the blade setting because this thing done cut through the, it's done cut through the paper. All right, so, um, yeah, so that's how it comes out, y'all. You see how easy it was with the bleed, had the bleed line coming through, put this in the trash can. All right. And that is, that's, that's how simple it is, y'all. That's how simple it is, man. So basically what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna um, lead this out right now so y'all can see it, see how it's coming. I'm, and I mean, like that only took five minutes. Like when I first got the machine, I was like, yo, how do I make this cut line? Um, I know Illustrator, but I don't know Illustrator like that. Um, da, 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 da. Just so many, you know what I'm saying? So many worries, so many anxieties, but um, I finally figured it out. Um, never give up, never give up whatsoever. So I had the machine probably about two weeks just, um, you know, sitting before I actually set it up and then another week before I actually got to going with it because it was just, it was a little bit intimidating. But once I figured out that cut line, it was, it's on ever since then. Ever since then. All right, so, yes, sir. So now you see, this is the final image. This is the final artwork. Um, I mean, it's looking good. It's looking real good, y'all. Looking real good, looking real good. So just put that on top, yam. Get your little squeegee. Where my squeegee go? Huh, oh, there you go. The squeegee is going on in. Squeegee, squeegee, squeegee. Squeegee. Get your squeegee, put your muscles into that. Put your muscles all up in it. Get it how you, you get it. Get it how you live in it. All right. And then what I usually do, I just cut, cut the back. Make it look nice and neat. Nice and neat, man. Leave a little bit just so I can kind of peel it up. Leave a little bit. You saw that, that pro move right there? Leave a little, little swig for yourself. All right, put a little more squeegee effort into it. There you go. I just do the front and back. I don't know if there's a proper way to do this. I'm pretty sure some a-hole online. It's just like, you should do it like this. You should squeegee like that. But hey, it is what it is. Do it how you want to do it. There ain't no right or wrong way. Just do it how you do it. And then, the, um, what's that saying? I'm always trying to relate to old sayings. There's more than one way to skin a cat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so yeah, just, you know what I'm saying? Do it how you want to. Do it how you want to. Boom. Throw it down. All right, so. All right, so I know the back is, uh... Okay.
Okay, yeah, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. All right. It didn't just pull it up. I mean, it comes up pretty smooth. It comes up real smooth. Real, real smooth. And hey, if you want to squeegee the joint, you can even squeegee it afterwards. Just squeegee, get the bubbles out. A little, you know. Make sure whatever you do, make sure it's like flat. You don't want those bubbles, you know, creeping up on you. Bubbles all up on you, but it's a lot of bubbles. But yeah. But yeah, so we got it. So that's how you, you know what I'm saying? That's how you put that cut line around your artwork. It looks pretty good. Um, all right. And here is the finished product. We have Evenings with Auntie from Cut to print came out looking good um i said it's a 333 first 16 seconds and then i do a, um a press without the transfer carrier um just with the teflon sheet boom and yes it's on there it's on there it's on there all right and if you guys uh, like my content make sure you like comment subscribe comment anything you want to see because i'm more than glad to help you guys out all right peace